Awesome. Good morning. Good morning. We are now live <coughs> on Facebook business account, hopefully. Um, Fifi's going to walk us around the shop. Let's go. If she's not in the I'm trance. Slightly stunned in submission this morning. Been been chaotic the last couple of days. I've been away painting. I went up to Malvern. Your neck looks a bit. Ooh, my neck is a bit. Is it? Have you been to the chiropractor? <laughs> yeah, been to the chiropractor. I think it's because I've been painting like crazy the last couple of days. Do you remember last week when we were all the time? watching? Oh, Paula. Oh, Paula. 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 Sorry we, to announce um, you, but you are the first one, so it's we, exciting. Uh, <laughs> I painted this. And Ooh, there's the mirror. That. Remember that very gingery brown yeah, table? Yeah, let's get a better light on Well, it. it's now Fifty Shades of Grey. Wow, look at that. Lots of, oh um, my gosh, shaving. that is amazing. But maybe the callers, the people at the other end can t help me because I can't decide whether or not to do some gold leafing on that bit, that bit, a little bit here, and the two matchy bits around the side. And then, of course, Let's this. Show. Is oh, and you did that as well. Oh my that goodness. That goes with it. You have worked hard. Which you have to imagine is such up a hard behind, worker. Behind the table. Mm. I didn't put my mask on. Oh, oh it doesn't matter. Saucers. Saucers. Only us. I forgot. The door is locked. My haste. I'm there. Everything's the, switched off. I'm there in the. I'm slightly yeah. nerve wracked by your makeshift boom. <laughs> I've got a microphone boom. Can, can we do a, a sound check for Fifi? Can you? Can you hear all right? Because I've got a, a microphone attached to a piece of wood. She's very, very high tech. Heathcliff. <laughs> She's mocking me. I am because it's slightly nervous. And it would be helpful if I could, if anyone can tell. Also, me. for people who don't tune in very often, they don't know who the voice is, who's doing the fantastic comparing, yeah. and that is my little sister Virginia. So, have you got enough hands to turn it round so we can just... Virginia when I'm in trouble. <laughs> right, hang on. Well, um, can I hold the boom? <laughs> hang on, oh, there's the boom, look. <laughs> Don't do that. That's the whole it's point. Like it's one. The whole point is hiding the... Right, I'm going to put my magic um, thing on And now. then we will have a look round. And then we can do that. Yay. Look like we're in a fishbowl. <laughs> we're not quite... So, a... this is Virginia. I call her Ginge. Everybody else calls her Ginny. I couldn't Thank say you. Virginia when I was little. The closest I could get was Ginger, and then it went to Ginge, so she's been Ginge to me ever since. But really, she's Ginny to everybody else. And she <laughs> is the person who does all the filming, <laughs> the high-tech stuff, the commentary, and she's amazeballs. Thank so thank you. you. Appreciate you. So hold this. I can't oh, do yes. it. Okay. T t t t t quick, quick. T right, now what? <laughs> Take the camera off of me. <laughs> Put it back onto the superstar system. Oh, yeah, 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 right. You right, have this high tech thing. Okay. We haven't so. had a sound check yet, but if anyone wants to uh, help us out to know whether the sound is working well with this microphone. So, last week I had just done a partial house clearance and I had so much stock. And now some of it is out, some of it is still to come in, and some of it's still in the back kitchen waiting pricing. So, um, you'll have to bear with me on that. And then I'm going to another giant flea fair at the weekend, so we've got stock coming out of our ears. But that's the bit I like, is going out and finding the unusual stock. Um, it's so homogenous in the world this day and age, isn't it? Everybody's got the samey, samey. And it's nice to have a shop where things are just one-offs and a little bit individual. So, to that is end... Is that the picture that you've got? Yes, it is. I wanted to get a close-up of that. Because that is really I nice. You'll probably only see reflections like, on I that. I think but John might be interested in that. The colours are so lovely. And I haven't done any research on it or anything yet, so I don't know exactly what the price is going to be. But it's, it's on the wall just to sort of protect it. Good morning. I don't um, know whether Facebook shows me comments, though... So this is all a bit um, hit or miss because I'm totally not familiar with the Facebooking. I mean, so I'm looking very carefully. Yes, you are very carefully yeah, today. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, oh. God, a right pair. This came in this week, a really nice, heavy old travelling chest, trunk. Um, and these look great, actually. People like them if they're flat because they're easy to sit on. But those with an old sheepskin over the top, draped over the top, they look really fab. And that one is 135. If you say it's really fab, then 
I think it's, it's really, really fab. fab. It is. It is. Yes. It's, it's got, got a seal of beefy approval. fabtasticness about it. Should we go around this way today for a yeah, change? Maybe we might it. see things that we've Rebels. missed before. Rebels. Here we go. These are rather nice. Haven't priced those up yet, but I've got two of those squashed pots. Aren't they lovely? But they look a bit sat on Chinese. Or? They do a bit. Um, yes, they have got dragons on, so yes. I guess Chinese they are. dragons. Yeah, and it's got Chinese writing on the bottom, so they're Chinese. Yeah. Still got this amazing rusty table. If anyone Don't know can why. give us a sound check, I'd appreciate a comment telling me if the sound is working okay. Otherwise, it'd just be having a nice look round with lots of <laughs> nothing. Mumbling. Oh, I wanted to check out this fabulous... Uh, desk again because I was trying table. to remember the dimensions because I was wondering this whether it would work in my office. This but coffee table, I think it's I actually... I have got the dimensions written on the back of that one actually. I think but it's actually a little bit too big for my office space. It was designed to look as if somebody had taken a bite out of an apple but um, out of solid steel instead. Um, but this isn't solid steel because otherwise it would be just too damn heavy to move but it's a fabulous looking thing. I think if that was in rust. the centre of a big open space... Yep. Like a big warehouse type yes, look. Be the on best. this sort of carpeting. This sort of carpeting. Really here. fab. So Morning. Ah, oh, Sue. Thank you very much, Sue Piers. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your comment. I wasn't sure whether there would be comments comment. on this platform because I'm not familiar. Can you hear? Can you tell me whether Fifi's audio is any good? La 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 la. Testing, testing. One two, one two, testing. Right. <laughs> Let's keep walking round. And hope that somebody can hear us. Yes, <laughs> very difficult without feedback. <laughs> nice little sturdy box. The sound is great, Ginny. Ah, oh, thank that, you. That's, that's good. awesome. Thank you, Sue. That's a help. So, um, you know how you always say hey, to me, Hey, Vicky, my friend. Oh. My friend, my special friend is here now. Oh, Vicky's good. here. Hello, good morning. So this is my sister, Vicky, and um, she's very gorgeous, and she's doing her um, her favourite thing in the world, which is being creative in her own business. All looks fabulous. Thank you, Maxine Unslow. Oh, Maxine, yes, um, I recognise. So, yes, sorry, I, I, I took over the broadcast. Well, you know how you always say to me, what's my favourite thing in the shop? Mm -hmm. I'd never thought it in a million years, but for some reason these are these are original domes from the early 19th century. And in France you often had them as a marriage dome, and they would have something like that around, and you might have a little cushion with little artefacts that they'd collected from their romantic liaison and during their wedding, and they oh. would be kept in the family and added to. Oh. So these haven't actually got wedding artefacts in, but these have got crucifixes in. And they're, they're so beautiful. And this one, if I take the lid off, you beautiful can see... Beautiful shot, lots of gorgeous goodies. Look at that. Can you get a little close-up on that? All these lovely shells. I have to do it physically because I can't... I've got my hands full. It's pretty, isn't, isn't it? It's pretty. It's kind um, of like kitsch in a way, but it's not... Sort of, sort it's sort of, of awful, you know I mean? but lovely. <laughs> and Hold on a sec. I just want to see what that comment was. So we had... Jane Wood says, all is great this end, and you are both fab, you should have a show. <laughs> oh, I don't God. know about that. God, God, That's everybody a good did. stream. And <laughs> Ali Smart says, oh, Ali. lots of gorgeous things, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So those would be my favourite things. Individually, not particularly special, but when you put them on mass like that, don't they look pretty? And I love glass domes like that. That one particularly, I think, is beautiful. So I know she you always ask me that at the end. The I like and, gents. and then this one, that looks like it's real marble. So you get the look at a fraction of the price right. because it is actually uh, made from a heavy-duty resin. Oh, so resin. it's a clever way of having the look but mm. not having to pay the same sort of money. Because and look at the price. That's such good it value. It is good value and it looks fab, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, how's my connection? Everything going all right? Just checking. Look at this mad bonkers <laughs> thing. Wow, <laughs> look at that. Nobody can say that Fifi's isn't eclectic. So on the one hand, you've got this lovely gentleman's dressing mirror, which is solid and very manly and very lovely. And on the next, you've got a big fiberglass replica of a tuna fish. But there's something about that, and I just think, yep, I love it. 
So that would be fish great to the road might like that. Hmm? Fish shop over the road. <laughs> you would have to have some giant chips made to go with it. Um, this is a, a weaver's stool. I love things like this, which are absolutely solid and honest, and it's got your bum moulding, so it's a very comfortable stool. And that came out of a, um, a factory in Wellington in Somerset, and it would have been sat on by um, a, a weaver working away at their weaving bench. Uh -huh. So that's, that's a really solid, lovely piece, and that one is £115. Um, coat of arms, oh. I think that looks lovely on the wall there. And then we've got this fabulous lamp um, made by Polish Peacock, who does some really clever lamp local? conversions. Yep, they're local. He made the roller skate lamp as well, which is... Uh, oh, your favourite? Yeah. A shoe last, which is one of my favourite things, on a roller skate with a fantastic um, filament bulb. So when it's plugged in and it's all lit up, it, it's really gorgeous. Oh, then yes. we've got these. Um, I think I've only got three of these left now, £34.95 oh, each. they going to be really heavy. No, they're, they're quite manageable, which is why I like them so much. And um, I just think that those, either side of a front door, with a little round box bush in them, would look extremely grown up. And they're not very expensive. But again, it's rust, and of course, that's why I love it. Um, baskets, really solid, gorgeous baskets. These are great in the hallway, you could just chuck your shoes in them or go around at the end of the day collecting all the kids' toys before you take them up and chuck them in their bedroom. Check out um, the curtain. Yeah. Boys Who Sew. They're based in Wooden. No, not Wooden, Barclay. And um, if you want a fantastic curtain designed and made for you, they're the people to contact. So that's the Boys Who Sew. And curtain they're on poles. Instagram as well. Yeah, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook. Um, really two smashing guys and they're so good at what they do really professional and uh, I knew what I wanted it to look like and I told them what I wanted we picked some materials and they manifested it for me and I couldn't have been more pleased so definitely worth contacting them the curtain pole um, they got that for me and um, it came in unfinished wood and then I painted it using the French sheet paints which meant that it was a lot cheaper for me to buy something like that, um, rather than buying something that's already been pre-lacquered. Pre Why are you smiling? <laughs> She's laughing because the stupid stick was in the <laughs> picture. Sorry. <laughs> We've got so such high tech here. We're so professional. But look, these are the curtain poles. We sell those here now. Um, lovely, thick, chunky wood. Very reasonably priced. And so if you what want to get... What an amazing shop. So many gorgeous things. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Nice little Indian plaques. These haven't got any hooks on the back, so I guess you would just lean them against your They're lovely, wall I love in them. the garden. My birthday but soon. They do look really nice, don't they? It's your birthday soon, yes, okay, a little hint, got that. These, lovely. I've ordered some faux bunches of grapes, the green ones and some black ones, because I think people need to see how fantastic these would look with a nice bunch of faux grapes on. I would like to get marble ones, but I haven't seen any, so I'm on the hunt for marble bunches of grapes, if anybody's got any. Um, this is another lamp made by Polish Peacock. I think if you do clever things, it changes how it, yes, there you go, it flashes. And then I think again, it does something else. I think we have three different settings, there we go. So it can be constant, flickering, or pulsating. And um, that's... Great, for a teenage boy's bedroom, just hang it up on the wall or have it it's on his bedside. Uh, true, yeah, it could be That's for a girl's bedroom, bedroom as well. What Make we want, their own decision. We? Absolutely. What, what, explain what this lady's all about. Well, um, she is Queen Elizabeth I, and um, I bought her because I love the scale of it, and I love that really big, chunky frame. And I was kind of visualising her at the end of a corridor in a pub in the Cotswolds with flagstone flooring leading up and a dark wall behind either black or very dark green with a spotlight on her or it could be an alcove in somebody's house because she's just such vivid colours she's very primitively painted and it's quite textured and I think she's got a mouthful of Maltesers but it's it's just a lovely colour scheme and chunkiness and um, pubs, 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 think pubs 
You need some pubs to contact me. <laughs> and then coming on round here, we've got the bookcase with the shelving that goes up and down. Um, adjustable shelving, I think they call that in technical terms. <laughs> what about these teddies up here? Yeah, they were made by a local lady and they're made from um, clothing that she gets in charity shops. You can see there, this is a pair of jeans and that was a pocket. Can you just about yeah, see that? that? Great. And all the parts move and I just think those are really lovely. They're sort of heirloom bears really, aren't really, they? Yes. Nice little Indian chest here. This comes in two pieces, that top this off. Um, gorgeous as it is. But if somebody wanted to do a number on that and paint it with the French heat paints, it could be absolutely striking. You could pick a colour, but if I was going to paint it now, I would probably paint it in Zoof, which is black, and then I'd use the new McPhee orange that goes, it's like a burnt orange to go on the inside. <coughs> really would pop the colour out of it. So you will paint it if it doesn't go? If it doesn't go, then I will paint it. But then I'm painting it in the colours that I choose. So if somebody buys it and they want to do it in duck egg blue, which would look mm. equally pretty, mm. or cream, mm. now's the time to buy it. This little unit, this is a little um, dressing table. Uh, cute, this one. It's got sort of a, a tiered system on either side. So if you have your mirror up on the wall, you've got room for all your perfume bottles and bits and pieces on either side, and still got room to put your makeup on whilst you're putting your face on in the morning. Plus it's got a little drawer on it. And that one is 164.95. Bargain. Ooh. So these um, old, old, old um, corner units. Corner units never to be that popular anymore, but I think they're fantastic value for money. They're good use of space. They as well. really are. I mean, they're up in a corner, out mm, of the way, yeah. and filling that with lovely, um, pretty little china ornaments or um, clear glass is one of my favourite things. That really does look fantastic. I've got these two. Indian bowls, I think, so I think they're Indian, but they're old wooden, really lovely pattern on them. Um, 42 95 each. They look great with fruit on, on the table. Mm -hmm. um, solid candlesticks, these are £85 a pair. These are made from resin, but oh my god, they are seriously heavy. Um, and I just think they look, they look lovely. So, uh, should we go and have a quick look on the outside and see what's out there? Wardrobe hasn't gone yet. Somebody needs to have a new wardrobe. I've shown you the inside of that one before, haven't I? We've embarrassed ourselves in the street now. Yes, with our, with our horse on this. Yes, that's a um, Victorian style horse. It's it's very old. It's not actually Victorian, Victorian style, but it's um it's definitely got age to it, and it does work. And I think it's called a velocipede. Is that yeah. right? Anyway, but the, it steers and the wheels go round. Um, and it's just a lovely thing to have on an old-fashioned planked landing or something, you know. And then outside, um, the usual sort of suspects. Um, this is nice. This little table, well, this table, which has got casters on it, and that slides up, and that slides around. Just a handy little table, and just when the flaps are down, it folds up to that size which just fits on the side of the sofa or run behind the sofa so it's a useful little entertaining table and this is nice solid pine um, with a stained glass panel with a shelf inside I love that I like that too I think that'd be nice in a bathroom mm. wouldn't it with your yeah. medicine cabinet it's or gorgeous. in the utility room with, like that, with dog it? leads that's 85 yeah. but I just yeah. like the fact that it's got the stained glass on it it's really pretty I'll take a picture of that and send okay. it to Jane after and then, uh, usual suspects, these metal stars, 14 95 each, look great hanging on your kitchen beam or on the side of the garage or your barn or the wall in the garden. And they look nice with the little tiny battery-operated or solar-powered fairy lights around them. Big metal stars out there as well, they look great on the side of the house. Lovely big heavy cast iron urns, that makes my arms bulge put those up there in the morning for the strongest person in Wilson. yeah quite strong for girly um piano stool double one nicely upholstered uh mirror and then um a picnic set what do they call those bistro set and those are 220 but they're really they're lovely, comfortable they? and they, they all fold so up pretty. flat so for the end of um season nice you can store them there, and then Oh, look at the hanging baskets all filling hanging out. Baskets. Such a lovely little town. 
Um, this is the Cotswold Way going down here, so of course we get lots of walkers. And we've got the Wooten Cinema, and we've got a swimming pool, and lots of independent little shops and cafes. Lots of historical buildings around Loads here. Loads of historical buildings. Um, just a, a really lovely, friendly little town. Very artisan. Mm. So, that's pretty much shops. it again. Cool. So, tell us, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> I wish I knew. I wish I knew. never had too many hats and gloves. <laughs> there we go. So, um, so loads of stuff, lots of things in here. It's too hard for me. I see it every day, so I don't really know what to pick out to show people. But you get a gist of the fact that it is completely eclectic, one-off pieces, um, individual. Yeah, there, so I got some light on. And. Um, if you fancy your brows, then come up and see us. We're open every day except Wednesday and Sunday, and we're open from 10 until 5. But you can be reached on Instagram. I can be it's on Instagram, Facebook, and the website is up and running now as well. So um, just come in and have a browse. And of course, we've got the French Chic paint in stock. I've always got all the colours in stock. So if you need anything, just give me a, a call. And um, we'll try and do one of these for once a fortnight, something like that, just to show people once a week. Well, once a week might be overkill for people, but I don't think <laughs> so. So you can stand it, we'll do it. I think it's a good idea. So, so. Um, nice to catch up with everyone. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions for Fifi, you can message her underneath this um, broadcast or you can DM her on Instagram. So, uh, yeah, do you want to leave it there for today? Yeah, that'll do for today. Thank you for joining and uh, bearing with us with our high tech <laughs> setup. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much. Many thanks. Have a Bye great now. day. Bye.